Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another fun mod, this time in the form of Portable Science Container by user Zorbak. And this, oh my, I love this mod. It is a necessity. If you are a fan of the whole science system in this game, you need to get the Portable Science Container, as what it adds into the game is a backpack that allows your Kerbal to store multiple samples and reports collected during EVA. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. Typically, if you know you, you send your Kerbal outside the command pod, he can only collect one sample, one report, and then he has to go into the command pod, drop it all off, and then go do more after that. And say you have a mystery goo container on the side of your ship, you gotta go out, collect the data, and then take it into the command pod. Or, if you don't want to do that, you just transmit the data, of course, but then you lose data. You get that data loss. And so, you know, personally, I always like to take all of my science information into the command pod so that I can return it back to the planet for the maximum science gain. And thanks to this backpack, it makes life so much easier. So let's head into the VAB and check this out. Now, of course, I should say off the bat, because it is a backpack that your Kerbal can actually put on, you're going to need the Kerbal attachment system. But let's grab this baby down here. And there we are. I guess we'll have to raise it a little bit more up and head over to the Science tab, where we have the Field Scientist Equipment, which is the backpack in question. And this thing is beautiful. Uh, be beautiful? No, it's beautiful. And it is just, oh, it's wonderful. And, and you may notice here, it actually also has a data transmitter, which is equivalent to the Communitron 16. So if you are, say, uh, you know, on a very long EVA collecting rock samples around the moon, instead of going back to the command pod, you could take the data loss and do a little bit of transmission of your stuff back to the planet. Uh, but, you know, I prefer to, like I said, to take it all back to the command pod. But, there is a built-in transmitter here, and with that comes a built-in battery of electrical charge of 75. And, of course, it also then has a generator, which at first, I was torn on, I have to admit. But, the fact of the matter is, it is a generator that creates 15 charge per minute. So if you transmit all your data and completely deplete your battery, it's going to take five minutes to completely bring it back to charge. Now, of course, you can also take this backpack, hook it back up to your ship, and use the standard resource transfer system to uh, much more quickly and easily add electricity back into your uh, electrical charge on this. Uh, but if, like I said, say you're out on a very long EVA and you don't feel like going back to your rover or your command pod, uh, it will charge just very, very slowly. Oh, so slowly. And I think that balances out the fact that it does have its own sort of transmission system. Uh, so I'm okay with it. But if we just grab this thing and uh, take a look at its size here... You can see from the door our Kerbal exits out of, it's it's pretty small, which is, of course, reasonable considering it's a backpack that one of these fellas down here is going to be able to put on his back. And oh my god, those two guys have merged into one. Oh, oh boy, okay, give them some privacy. And uh, yes, it's, it's a wonderful little system. I really, really love this whole backpack. And ag again, it does require the Kerbal attachment system to function. Uh, but that's, you know what, for the functionality this adds in, definitely worth having an extra mod in there. And besides, Kerbal Attachment System's just wonderful, you should probably have it installed anyways. But that's enough, We and uh, really all we can do from here in the VAB, so let's do a little demonstration! And I have set up a little scenario on the uh, nearby island. That is something I have uh, had happen to me a good few times. I've got a test probe here, which is a probe sent out with a bit of scientific equipment on it. And it has happened to me a whole lot of times in this game. I'll send a probe out to another world, and because I'm a god-awful pilot, my probe will get damaged. And maybe I lose my uh, electrical generation ability, or I lose my communication array, something like that but I still want to gather the science from that probe. So I'll send 
a science mission to go and retrieve that data. And so I've set up on the little island a little facsimile of that. We'll have a little probe, as you can see, on its side. Oh boy, even more on its side. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry, you poor little probe. And yeah, well, honestly, this happens to me a lot in this game. Finding a probe just broken and destroyed. So let's get Jebediah out on EVA. And now typically, on one of these missions, I, I'd be kind of uh, screwed, honestly, for a lot of this stuff. You know, going over here, and we could collect the Mystery Goo containers, but the Science Junior, I can't collect the data from that. It, it would be kind of a pain, but we, of course we could collect the data from this. Yes, remove the data. We did make that particular Mystery Goo container inoperable, but oh well. And we can always take this back. There we go. We have it stored in our Kerbal here, of course, and we can review it. Keep that data. And we end up, oop, there we go, we can store the experiment. And then we have to go back and forth doing this over and over and over again. But, thanks to the lovely portable science container, which I have strapped to the back of this rocket, we can just grab this, and now we have a wonderful backpack on our Kerbal, which is just beautiful. I, I, I love the look of this thing, plus it's got our little flag on there. Beautiful, beautiful Jebediah, you are sporting a lovely backpack today. And what we can do with it is, of course, just the manual way we could just uh, grab the Mystery Goo container, which this one might be broken. Oh, yeah, it might be broken from the fall. But normally, if, if it was functioning correctly, we would drop this onto the ground, and then you would gather the science. Oh, there we go. We can collect the data from this. Yes, remove anyways. It's now inoperable. And then I can go to this backpack and store it. And then I can go to the next container, the next container, etc. So forth, ad nauseum, until you are done. I like with those two Mystery Goo containers over there. I could sit out here, collect one of the containers, pop it in the backpack, collect the other container, pop it in the backpack, and we're good to go. But that's not all. What we can also do is we can grab this and then go to attach and actually hook it to this probe and then actually go to the probe and it will function as a transmitter. So if you knocked off the communitron off of your probe, you can just go and slap one of these babies onto the side and it will now function as the communication system for this particular probe. So we have that one experiment transmitted, or one experiment stored in it, but then we'd also be able to grab the experiment from this science junior, because we've got, we've got science right there, and now we can transmit it thanks to this backpack. It's just wonderful. I really, really love that. But of course, we just grab this baby again. We could also just take it back to our ship, and we would be good to go. Now, so here we go, we can store the experiments from the backpack. Oh, that's new, I haven't gotten that. Not all items could be stored. Oh, intriguing. I haven't had that happen to me before, but interesting. But yeah, normally you'd go store or experiment and you'd be able to go back and forth with that nicely. I think it might be because maybe I have those mystery goo containers. I'm not 100% sure, I haven't seen that error before. But yes, normally you'd be able to go out and just store all those experiments and you'd be fine. But of course, we could also drop this baby. Take a surface sample. Lovely. Yep, looks like dirt. Store that. Move a couple feet away. Take another sample, surface sample. Yep, still looks like dirt. Take an EVA report. I don't think that spacesuit is necessary. Go back. Store your experiments. Oh, well, we got the EVA report in there, but the other one didn't go. Oh, oh, we just have to do it one by one, it seems. Oh, uh, there we go. Not all items could be stored. One last time. Hmm, so yes, there, are do, I, there do seem to be some limitations here that I haven't encountered before. So it seems we could only store one of the surface samples. Intriguing. It is intriguing. But of course, we could always... Oh, nope, nope, not attach. Uh, escape to can- Oh, nope, press space to cancel. There we are. 
And now that we have it on our back, we could always transmit all of this data. There we go, uploading it. And using quite a bit of electrical charge. Oh boy, that's a lot, that's a lot of electrical charge going down. We're only halfway. I don't know if we'll have enough power for it. We might just have enough power. Maybe? My god, it worked. We actually did transmit all of it. Oh no, we only transmitted some of it. It's now going to the next one in line. Okay, stop transmitting. There we go. But we did transmit some of it successfully. And now we don't have as much data in here. So we could always go and collect more. And then if, once we do have it chock full, we can all, always, as I said, either put it into the command pod or just attach it back to your ship, and there you go. You have all that science with you that you can then take back to uh, wonderful, wonderful Kerbin and just get yourself back on board. And you're a happy Kerbal. And that is why I love this mod. It, it does seem to have some limitations, which I hadn't seen when I was testing it earlier, because eh, I haven't been playing around with this much for a very much time. But I love the possibilities with it, that you can collect multiple samples, multiple reports, attach it to a broken ship to transmit data if you need. It's 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 great. And then of course, if you can make it home, just attach it right there and then bring all that data back with you. It's it's wonderful. So if we actually do go to recover this vessel, we should get all the science that was in that backpack as well, though now that I'm remembering how much was in there. So, Mystery Goo, Mystery Goo, yeah, and the third Mystery Goo container from uh, the other ship. That sounds right. Does it? Maybe. But we earned science. There we go. We brought it all back with us, and of course got back the cost of the backpack itself. And now, since this is in career mode, uh, one last thing to go over. You do require, oh boy, where is it? Uh, specialized? No, no. Give me, give, oh god, give me a moment. Electronics, field, advanced exploration. There it is. You require advanced exploration to be able to use the backpack. So it is integrated in with the tech tree. And it's it's just a, it's a wonderful, wonderful little mod. I, I really like this. It adds a lovely little feature into the game to allow your Kerbal to be more useful, to be able to recover more data from broken probes and ships, be an emergency transmitter, and, well, just be overall wonderful. So, if you would like to try out this mod for yourself, you can always uh, take a look at the link in the description, as always. And, uh, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video today, and of course that you come back for the next, when we will be looking at yet another fun and interesting mod. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends, and as always, have a good one.